Hi there, and welcome to my channel. A sociopath is defined as a person with a personality disorder manifesting itself in extreme antisocial attitudes and behavior. Antisocial is defined as contrary to the laws and customs of society in a way that causes annoyance and disapproval in others. Antisocial can also be defined as not sociable or wanting the company of others. Before we get started on today's video, I would just like to throw out a whole lot of love to my beloved members. The people who click the join button to support this channel, they probably saw this video coming. But I also need to throw out a quick apology for some delay in my uploading regular videos here recently. You see, I've been going through some difficulties. But I do appreciate your patience and I appreciate you being here. These difficulties that I have been experiencing, well, they led me to do some research. And this research, it left me with more questions than answered, but also feeling disgusted, and quite frankly left wondering if CEOs of large organizations are quite possibly sociopaths. And in today's video, I plan to share with you just some basic information that I found, but I think workers should know. But I found it all a little bit ridiculous and quite shocking, and I'm really looking forward to hearing your opinions and fun facts on the subject in the comments. I will provide you all with some links below in the description of this video so that you yourself can look into this subject. But it should be said that I used data provided specifically out of the UK on CEOs in the UK. Those of you that are regulars here on my channel may think that's a little odd knowing that I'm an American living in Germany. But it should be said, in the 20 some years that I've lived in Germany, I have held at least three different contracts with three completely different British companies. Completely separate, one having nothing to do with the other except that home base was up on that island. And you know what's really odd? Is that if I had to sum those three companies up in my experience with them in, oh say, two words, I would probably go with words like sloppy and exploitive. And dead serious, when I look back at the history and I look back at my own life experience, I wonder why that is. And you see, that right there, my wondering, that's just a part of who I am. Quite often, I have found myself in positions that most people either ran from or would run from, and I took a moment to ask myself, why? Why is it like this? Like, where does this come from? It has to come from somewhere. So I went down a CEO rabbit hole of sorts curious about the the ones at the top that just never seem to have quite enough money to support their workers properly but have the balls to say this from a mansion with a Porsche parked outside after working a few hours a day where their biggest risk was getting a paper cut seemingly unaware that their workers for example could be missing rent while employed and breaking their backs for what for one guy at the top to have a big house or three possible sociopaths did you know that between the 1980s and the 2000s ceo pay levels for uk ceos raced up high up and far away from what the average uk worker earned clearly mirroring the gap between the super rich and everybody else. For example, the median CEO in the UK, their pay of over two million pounds is 86 times what the median worker in the UK earned in 2020. 86 times more. That is one ridiculous pay gap. And trust you me, the UK ain't alone in this. 
No way. You can see this stuff everywhere in the world. And it's become clearer to a lot more people with the current pandemic situation. Many, many lives negatively affected by the situation. And governments everywhere used volumes of public money, workers' money, to protect large businesses in the name of the economy. Large amounts of cash handed to companies who pay a CEO 86 times what they pay their average worker. So the way I understand that is when things got hard, the government took money provided by hard workers, took it from those hardworking people, and handed it to people who are already hoarding too much money. You see, the inequality exposed by the pandemic in, in the use of public funding being handed to large businesses should strengthen an argument for measures to contain top pay and rebalance income differences. And personally, I think we, the ones at the bottom that work the hardest, we should demand justification. Lawrence Turner said it well when he said, there is no business or moral justification for paying an executive an obscene ratio of more than 2,000 times the average worker. No justification for that. Action is definitely needed now, especially at a time when hundreds of thousands of jobs are at threat and too many households are struggling to make ends meet. Yeah, I started to wonder, are the humans behind this job title just flat out sociopaths? Is that like a requirement of taking that position or could they be just completely out of touch with the reality of the world? I also wondered if any of them had moments of imposter syndrome. Because what I found in my research, it doesn't seem to me that the argument can really be made that a CEO is paid this obscene wage because he works very hard. It also doesn't necessarily seem like they are given this obscene pay because they make smart decisions. Nope. Not if you consider that most of these companies still hand over ridiculous amounts of cash over to the CEO, even when the company does poorly. Did you know that it is a, a belief amongst these douchey business types that the CEO's pay is a reflection of a company doing well? Possible sociopaths. Well, how do they come up with this ridiculous, obscene, disgusting number that they're handing over to one person while throwing the bare minimum at the rest? Well, it's usually a board of directors who will make recommendations on what a CEO's salary should be. And remember, if he looks good when this comes out in the press, we look good. Straight up and honest with you folks, all I could think about when I started to look into why a CEO is paid such ridiculous and obscene amounts of money, all I could think of was like, so, so it's like a big circle jerk? Like a bunch of rich, out of touch, bean counting desk monkeys get together to do their best to keep the few at the top super, super rich? while keeping the masses who actually do the hard work and bring them any of that money, let's keep them at a bare minimum level. Classy. And so the thinking is, this guy is super rich and that we label as successful in society and so that makes us look good. No, it makes you look like a bunch of possible sociopaths. I mean, if not sociopathy, then what is it? Are there really so many millionaires out there that are just out of touch, living in a bubble, surrounded by yes men that somehow convince him, oh yeah, you deserve this. I wondered if they ever had at least a little quiet moment alone, again, imposter syndrome, if they ever had a moment where they sat there and had just even for a fleeting second the thought, I am an overpaid farce. Little more than a figurehead, like the queen. Because some other rich out of touch people think it looks good if they do that. What the hell, like how out of touch can one person be? I don't know about you, my dear viewers, but 
I don't think it looks good. I don't think it's a good look. I don't think inequality and exploitation of human labor is a good look at all. Maybe that's just me. You know something else about me? As much as I can be outspoken and brutally honest, I also often try to play what you could call devil's advocate. I try to see and understand the other side. Just a basic attempt to try to understand the human before me. I also try to find some good when things seem really bad. And in my quest to find some sort of good news in the disgusting and obscene things I learned about CEOs, I found an article about a CEO named Dan Price. I'll put a link below. This is a CEO who found himself face to face with a worker who had the balls to actually tell the CEO to his face, you're ripping me off. I encourage you to read the story linked in the description below, but long story short, he ultimately enacted several pay raises and was shocked that at the same time, also his profits rose. Go figure. This guy admitted basically that he was out of touch, but instead of conducting himself like a hoarding sociopath, he made efforts to further inform himself modify what he did in his company, and an attempt was made to not exploit his workforce. And it all started because one employee was brave enough to say to his face the reality of the world. I think the story of Dan Price is a, an inspiration, but also a reminder that some people are completely out of touch unaware of what's going on in their environment or maybe just see it in a different way. Some people really may need a reality check. And then I thought maybe before I just write them off as sociopaths, something I could do, something every worker could do is make sure they are really aware of their hoarding behavior and how it affects you and how it could be viewed as antisocial. Maybe no one ever told them. Maybe nobody ever directly informed them just how exploitive their actions are. Maybe. And you know what? I can't lie to you, my loyal viewers, subscribers, beloved members, and friends. I may have had one specific CEO in my head the entire time as I researched this data and information. And while I must admit that I am angry, I tried to remain open to the possibility that this actual human that I had in mind, who I've met in person and looked in the eyes, I had to consider the chance that he may not be a sociopath. but. I just can't get over. How? How do you accept a thousand cakes made by the blood, sweat, and tears of a hundred thousand workers? And you with a straight face accept those cakes and go, yeah, I deserve this. And proceed to take a few crumbs from this pile of cakes that you're hoarding and sort of <sighs> blow them at the workers who did the labor that produced those cakes for you and go, yeah, they deserve that. Crumbs. How do you with a straight face and a clear conscience accept that paycheck and say, I earned this. I earned this paycheck. And how do you do it? holding people to contracts while they are dancing at the poverty line, knowing all they have to do is Google for proxy statements and alerts to shareholders, and they can get a clear number to just how much they are being ripped off by you. How do you do this? And how should I not assume you're a possible sociopath. How? So there I was, shocked, disappointed, 
angry and just confused, just left with more questions at this data and information I found in my research in this CEO rabbit hole that I went down. And I thought, what do I do with all this? Well, that's when I decided I'm going to tell him like it is. So clearly for legal reasons, I can't read to you the entire email that I sent out. I also cannot tell you if this particular CEO even received my message. As I am filming this video, it has been about a week and no response. But basically, to sum it up, what I let out in my email to a particular CEO, I started off the email informing him of how many years I have held a contract and worked for him. And then I informed him that I recently missed my rent and am falling horribly behind in bills. I then directly asked him if he was proud, for example, to hold people on contracts uh, that were dancing at the poverty line. I then reminded him of how much money, approximately. I used approximate figures I could find on him online. But I reminded him directly of how much cash he's handed. But then essentially, long story short, how he was willing to accept all of that, but let his most vulnerable employees just eat dirt. I then made him aware that this is not the first time, or is it the first complaint to his company, of which he's the fancy rich figurehead of. And I then began to pour out a short list of the many, many, many disturbing things I encountered as a low-paid employee for his company. I may have in my anger mentioned something about nothing like kicking people when they're down, right? And I may have gotten slightly snarky when I sort of sarcastically reminded him about going home in his fancy car to his brand new home. But at least one of his workers wants to remind him that his pay and his actions and his lack of support for the most vulnerable employees not a good look. And I may or may not have thrown the statement out there, uh, your mother must be so proud. But I did also include a link to the Dan Price story, and I nicely encouraged him to read it. And then I ended my email to him basically wishing him a great weekend full of healthy meals that he can afford and a roof over his head. And then basically I said something to the effect that I hope that he nor anybody in his family ever gets treated the way that I have. But not just me. There's no way I'm the only one. Would some people say that this was very unprofessional of me? Yeah. And I promise you, my dear viewers, if I was dealing with somebody that I, I felt had acted professional themselves, I would give them that same respect. I don't know about you, but with me, I try to start off nice with everybody. And even if there's issues, I try to fix them. But at some point, if stuff is not changing and, for example, abuse continues, you have to know when to cut it. And if I perceive somebody to be treating me like garbage, the hell if I am going to treat them like a professional. I just wish to say in closing that I wish more people would do this. Every worker, know what your top executive gets paid. Look at what they do and look at what you do. And ask for a clear justification. One that makes sense to you, the common man, the hard worker, the one that they need to survive. Ask for a justification for this obscene wage gap. I feel like many of us have been just like conditioned to this is normal. But when people are being overworked, underpaid, unable to pay rent, and the ones writing their checks are driving Porsches, it's not normal. It's sick. And in my opinion, reeks of antisocial behavior being carried out by well-dressed majority white male sociopaths. I really do appreciate you all for watching this video. I do hope that you will consider looking up your CEO's pay and maybe asking for a justification. But also it'd be nice if you considered clicking like and or subscribing. 
I do hope to be coming at you soon with another video. But until that happens, I do hope that you're over there taking care of yourself and not allowing yourself to be exploited by sociopaths.